Hey, good morning everyone. This is Melissa with The Stock Swish and I'm here to review BABA. I'm here to review BABA because I went over this yesterday in the trading room and I'm here in the room right now this morning wanted to do a quick video because the stock is gapping up. It actually gapped up this morning over yesterday's high and it did a huge big taily thing in the pre-market this morning. Look, right there which was a bounce, which was buying that came in. So did a long, big lecture on this in the room yesterday, but really talked about the importance of institutional money in a stock and being in the right direction with it. I ended up buying calls in this yesterday and my price in it, I ended up buying it like near the high of the day. It was almost like I, I wanted to get in it so badly that it didn't even matter what I paid. And, and look, I'll be up today. So this is, I have a new word now for conviction. It's called, you don't even care what price you get in the thing, you must get in it. That is 100% conviction. When you don't even care the price of the thing that you're getting it, that you must get it, then you just take it. Then you have 100% conviction it's gonna work. I'm not getting out of this till it goes to 100. It will go to 100. It's going to go there. It's not gonna go there today, but it's gonna go to 95 today. And, and it's gonna go to 100 next week. So this is a beautiful buy. The stock will not see the low of this number here for the rest of the calendar year. So this is now an immediate uptrend. Uh, Will wrote in the room this morning and some people had emailed me last night. Actually, my friend Tom had said that that one of his friends shorted it in the training room and I wasn't surprised. And Will said people were, were shorting it to fill the gap and doing doing options to, to, to do puts as if it was a short that it was gonna fill this gap. This is one of the most amazing things that you could ever possibly learn from me is how to read institutional money. I mean, I talked about it in the room yesterday, but this is probably one of the reasons, although it's really getting bought, that the stock is gonna just go sky high today. People are now trapped in this that shorted it yesterday, which was a ridiculous thing to do. And thank goodness Will didn't do it. But the fact is that this is a long, it is a long, it is a new trend in this chart. It is now an uptrend as of yesterday. It will not be broken the next day. It is gonna fly. This thing is going to fly. And I mean, it's gonna to get to 100 probably by next week. If it doesn't, I'm still in and out and up a month in the option. But this thing is going to go through the strike price today to the strike price today. I just bought it yesterday out a month. So this is one of the best things I've seen all year. And I just can't talk enough about it. And I talked all day yesterday about it. And in fact, I even talked about it before it even reported because my instinct said it was gonna gap up. You, it is so rare to find corrective gaps. But one of the things that's so important to come and learn from me is to understand what's happening in a trend in a chart. I don't think anyone else can read who's in control of a stock better than me. And it's one of the reasons I read the market so well, because the control never flipped in the overall market to the bears. The control in the overall market never flipped. I call this market higher because the control never flipped to the downside. It was always stayed in the bullish uptrend and it always, the bulls were always in control. Now, does that mean that something always stays in the trend? No. BABA has changed control now. The change of control happened yesterday in the gap. In the morning when the earnings were reported, the change of control happened. It was right there. So you can have something in a trend, but things can still change trends. But things don't change trends all the time. But the point is, though, they change trends in a gap. And the change in control happened. When you have a gap that changes control, it is the most powerful gap that exists in the market. You do not see them every day. You don't see them every week. You don't see them every month. I wish I would have bought more of this. But I'm not going to now because I'm just not. And you got to use the same risk for every trade. And I did. I risked about $3,500 in this yesterday. I have 25, 25 contracts. That's enough. That's enough. It's just enough. But the fact is that this is really one of the best things I've seen all year to go an immediate long. And I probably, who would even think to do this? I'm with the people that are controlling this stock right now. And that's why I'm up money today. And yesterday into the close, it pulled back and I was down. I didn't even care. I slept like a baby last night. It didn't even matter. That's how much conviction I have in this. When you don't care the price to get in, you get in. And maybe that's something we do differently with the shorts, except for the short moves happen so quickly in the day trades. Then when they break, sometimes you miss half the move if you chase it. But in reference to these longer term moves, when you're out for days or weeks or months, I'm starting to wonder if it even matters. You see where it's going to go and you know it's going to get there. And this absolutely, with a shadow of a doubt, is going to 100 in the time that I'm in the option. It's going to go to 100. My strike price is 95. I'm going to make five bucks minus the cost of it. And then there'll be time value over it. This is going to be a huge trade for me. And I wish I had more. I wish I had more, 
but I don't want to get crazy here. But these are the ones that you just can learn so much from me on. And we talked about it all day yesterday. And this thing is not a sure. And this is the difference between me and coming to learn from me and going to whatever place out there on the internet that teaches about advanced technical analysis or gaps. I, I don't think any place out there would have called this long yesterday, intraday, or to buy the option in as aggressively as me. And when I got up this morning and saw this up over 93, I wasn't even surprised. I wasn't even surprised. I knew that it would be. And this is the difference. This is the difference. This I'm trading like a professional right now. This stock gapped up six bucks yesterday, fell in the day, closed red, fell into the option, went to bed at night, down in the option position, bought it at the high of the day, and I'm going to be up this morning. That is a professional trader, and that's the kind of person that you want to train with and learn from. And thank God no one in here shorted this, because if you would have, you would have been down. You would have been down huge and trapped, just like everyone else is going to be in this. And trading rooms called this short yesterday. And I'm not saying you could have made money shorting it, but it would have been hard, and it wasn't the right thing to do. And you never want, against, want, you never want to short against buying. You want to buy strength, and you want to short weakness. And this sounds so basic, but, it, but people don't trade like this. Normal, regular people that sit at their desks like me and you every day do not trade like this. But I trade like a professional. This was a great call. This is a great call, and it's the reason I called the market right, too. There was no change in control of the market, and there is a change of control in this stock on the day that it gapped. And so you go with the control, and the control was immediate long. It doesn't matter if it gapped up $6 or $2 or $25. It doesn't matter. There was an immediate change of control, and, and if you just take the trade, you let you ride it out. I'm going to ride this puppy out. I'll never be down in it after today. It's going to ride itself all the way up to 100. I took the trade yesterday. That's the only day I'm going to be down in it. And it's only because I bought it at the high. Otherwise, I would have closed positive yesterday on it. It's going to ride all the way up to 100. And it's just going to go. I'm going to make a lot of money on this trade again. And this is just fantastic. And it's been a slow week. And look what I got today. Just look at it. This is why you don't give up. And you focus on the information. And you don't question it. And the market just gives it to you sometimes. It just goes poof. And it just gives you something great, fantastic. And I gave this to everyone in the room, and this is my gift to you, a freebie. I hope you took it. You either took it or you take it this morning. It's not too late. It doesn't even matter what you're paying for it. You're going to get it through the number, and every dollar through the number, you're going to be up. So if you buy it, if you buy it at 95, at 95, and it goes to 100, you're going to make $5. It doesn't even matter. Buy it, okay? Have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissa.thestockswish.com if you have any questions.